You ask for it, I've got it. This is it, G2 Research RIP, the radically invasive projectile, the last bullet you will ever need. I'm gonna put it to the test in context with the claims that they're making, because they're making some pretty significant claims, and also through standard uh, IWBA or FBI ballistic testing protocol. So I'm gonna use standardized professional ballistic gelatin, the same stuff that the FBI uses, uh, prepared the same way the FBI does, calibrated to the same penetration depth that the FBI does, stored at the same temperature the FBI does, and shot under the same scenarios and circumstances the FBI does. So we're going to get real legitimate answers based on real ballistic gel as to how this bullet actually performs. Uh, normally for 9mm ammo tests, I've been using the short barrel compact carry pistols, but to give this round the full benefit of the doubt, I'm using a uh, four inch barrel, it's not a duty size pistol, but it is, you know, a much larger, longer barrel than the tiny SIG 938 that I normally use. So we will test it to see what kind of velocity we get. We will test it to see what kind of terminal performance we get. We will test it against some of the claims that they've made for it. And we will get to the bottom of what this round really does. Okay, what you are looking at here is the first independent FBI specification gel block test of the G2 Research RIP ammo projectile. And you can see that it performed just like it said it was gonna. We have this massive cavity here where the trocar pedals broke off, and then we have a solid penetrating base that went all the way to the end. Okay, so it did what it said it was gonna do, right? But how terminally effective is that? Because this is doing things that conventional or typical bullets don't do so how do we how do we put that in context well first let's examine the cavity here where hang on i've got the wrong gel block up there hold on a sec there this is the G2 research block with the explosive cavity here and the, the, the trocars and the solid penetrating base. I decided to try to emulate what the G2 ammo does. And I think you'll agree, I got it pretty darn close. They look pretty much exactly the same as far as uh, permanent damage that was left in the tissue simulant. What you can see in here Anything that, that, that's still visible in the blocks is permanent damage. And we have very similar cavities in very similar position. We have fragmentation in similar positions. So how did I do this? How was I able to make a, a G2 research rip ammo looking cavity out of regular ammunition? I used two of the weakest, uh, half-assed rounds that you can buy 22 lrs for the uh, segmenting hollow point over here this is what created the damage there and then for the penetration for the base i just used a, a gila sniper subsonic uh, 60 grain solid i don't think the terminal performance of the G2 round looks to be all that powerful, certainly not what they're making it out to be, because I was able to emulate it. These little segmented 22s, this is an, a 32 grain bullet, 32 grains, going at about the same speed from, from a 22 pistol. This wasn't even from a rifle, it was a 22 pistol. We got about 1,200 feet per second, which is about the same as the G2 research. And the segmented hollow point breaks up into three pieces. It's 32 grains. So you get about 11 grains per piece. So you get similar penetration, actually a little more penetration from the segmenting hollow point 22 than the trocars do off of the G2 research. And for the base, we have about, I'm guessing about half the bullet weight, about 48 grains here. So I used a 60 grain 22 solid to simulate that. We got similar damage, actually more damage out of the 22. We got more penetration. The round did break apart. It did send a base penetrating deep enough to potentially cause an incapacitating wound. That, that base did meet FBI specifications. But is it the super wonder mega bullet? 
I don't know, because I could make the exact same thing happen with a couple of 22 LRs, and those are never going to be considered, you know, highly effective man-stopping rounds. I, the, the segmented hollow points here, it says on it that it's for varmints. This is made for hunting prairie dogs and, and squirrels. That's what it's meant to be effective on. So, I've seen the videos, I've seen the magic, I've, I've heard the claims, I've heard the talk about revolutionizing everything to do with personal defense. I just don't see it. I, I, I don't think it's garbage. I think that it could potentially cause an incapacitating wound, but so could a 22. I, I don't really see where this is any better than that. It does make this wound here shallowly, but this doesn't mean anything, guys. This is so shallow. This is about three inches, maybe four inches in. And that's not four inches in a body, that's four inches in soft tissue simulant. So this may not even hit where the, where the ribs are. This may barely make a, a, a nasty flesh wound on the surface. But for terminal effectiveness, what you want is you want a deep penetrating bullet that does its damage at the end of its travel. That's where it's trying to reach to the heart, the aorta, the, the vital organs, the spine, the central nervous system. It's trying to reach deep in there. And you want the biggest bullet you can get reaching as deep as you can get it within reason. No more than 18 inches, but as deep as you can get through soft tissue. That's not what this round does. This round slices off half its weight, half its size, right off the bat and leaves it here, shallowly. It'll make a nasty wound. You're not going to enjoy being hit by this. Um, probably going to be a wound similar to a birdshot style wound out of a shotgun. A, a 410 shotgun with birdshot would probably do about as much damage as this. Um, so I'm not, I'm not seeing it. I, I ran many more tests on this. But just in this first initial reaction, this is what I saw. This is how I simulated it. And I'm telling you, this isn't all that impressive. And because of that, and this isn't all that impressive either.